The adventures of Peter Pan have always been a source of delight for kids who grew up either reading the stories by J.M. Barrie or watching the much-loved animated Disney film from 1953. Over the last century, there have been stage plays, silent films, a slew of novels and short stories, musicals, prequels, television specials, and even a Walt Disney Parks and Resorts attraction centered on the antics of the mischievous young boy who never wants to grow up. Out of all of the media featuring Peter Pan that's come out in the past 100 years, one stands out as an underappreciated gem a live-action film starring Robin Williams that offers a different perspective on Neverland. Directed by Steven Spielberg, the 1991 swashbuckling adventure flick Hook follows an adult Peter Pan, now going by the name Peter Banning, played by the late great Williams. Peter Banning is unaware of his former identity as the boy who flew around Neverland, fought pirates, and had a tiny fairy at his beck and call. The adult Peter is a career-driven father of two, working long days as a corporate lawyer in San Francisco and feeling a strain on his marriage because of it. When the Banning family flies to London to visit Moira Banning's grandmother, Wendy Darling, Peter's past and present collide as Captain James Hook makes a return and exacts his revenge plot. The evil pirate decides to kidnap Peter's children, and it's up to Peter to return to Neverland to save his kids and reconnect with his inner child. By taking a different approach to the Peter Pan story, Spielberg managed to tie together themes of adulthood, imagination, and childhood into one heartwarming package. And of course, with Robin Williams' excellent acting skills, his role in Hook really allows the film's message to hit home. While Hook didn't do too well with critics, it's still a classic that deserves a chance. It seems few people know that more than Netflix subscribers, who have been streaming Hook now more than ever before. Admittedly, Hook did have its issues, and Spielberg himself knew that. The acclaimed filmmaker previously admitted that he lacked confidence while making Hook, and that ended up showing in the finished product. He told Empire Magazine, I didn't quite know what I was doing, and I tried to paint over my insecurity with production value. He also candidly shared that he, quote, felt like a fish out of water making Hook. Prior to that confession, during an interview with Entertainment Weekly in 2011, Spielberg explained that while there were parts of the film he enjoyed, he's a little disappointed with how he handled this leap into Neverland. I'm a little less proud of the Neverland sequences because I'm uncomfortable with that highly stylized world that today, of course, I would probably have done with live-action character work inside a completely digital set. But we didn't have the technology to do it then, and my imagination only went as far as building physical sets and trying to paint trees blue and red. Unfortunately, critics noticed that Hook wasn't exactly perfect, and their largely negative reviews have placed Hook at a 29% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Many critics felt that while the film had appeal, it lacked depth. One review from Jonathan Rosenbaum of the Chicago Reader criticized Hook for its shallow characters, writing, the problems start when we're asked to accept Neverland's two-dimensional residents as anything other than tourists on a forced march through its various nooks and crannies. Additionally, critics weren't too happy about the child acting in the film. A review by Tim Brayton from Alternate Ending highlighted this problem, stating, Given the inherent importance of children to the Peter Pan universe, it's damn near fatal that Hook has so many god-awful child roles. You are a very poor role model for these kids, you know that? I bet you don't even have a fourth grade reading level. Immortal suck, Navel. Although these critiques are valid, Hook did seem to go over really well with audiences, scoring a 76% amongst registered users on Rotten Tomatoes. Audience reviews highlight the film's comedic elements and heartwarming story, and it's clear that overall, some viewers genuinely enjoy Spielberg's unique take on the Peter Pan narrative. Films that were panned by critics but adored by audiences are fairly common, and it's evident that Hook is one of them. It may not be Spielberg's best work, but Hook is still worth a watch on Netflix today. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite hidden gems are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.